Okay guys, we've just finished our survey with our Sentera NDVI sensor attached to our Phantom 4 drone. Uh, the results are on the computer now, so I am going to compare the results to the last survey and see if we can find anything interesting. On your screen you can see two similar surveys. The only difference is, is that this one on the left was done two months before this one on the right. They're of the same area. Um, the one on the right hand side is our most recent survey and these were done with a DJI Phantom 4 quadcopter with a Sentera sensor mounted on it. So we can see some similarities and some differences between these two surveys. So I want to investigate these today. I have got some images uh, at the ground level so you can see uh, what, what you might expect on the ground from looking at um, these results from the air. So let's start in area number one, which is the top left paddock. On our old survey, we can see a red area in the middle of the paddock, but this area is surrounded by green looking plants, especially around this building. On our most recent survey, we see the exact same thing. We see green looking plants and it's in the middle is, is just a red area. As we zoom into this red area, and we look at the rows, we can see gaps of plants that may be under stress, uh, which are these yellow colorations in between the green. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for these straight rows, um, the coloration on them, not so much the uh, stuff in between them. You see this red in between these two rows, that's just dead grass. So as we continue to look around this area we see more and more gaps like this one here this could be a missing plant or it could be a dead plant or it could be a plant under extreme stress so we decided to go down to the ground level and see if we could collect any images so let's go to this area one folder and see what we saw so in this row we could see um, lots of stuff like this this is a dead branch off one of the plants that would uh, come up in our survey as a red or orange um, blotch. As we continue down the row, we see this more and more. There's another one, for example. We're seeing um, some brownish or black colorations on some of the leaves. And as we continue down, we see healthy looking plants. If you look in between down here, that is the dead grass that would have been showing up as red on our survey. And we continue down more, we see healthier and healthier looking plants. Plants that are clearly not under too much stress. So let's go back to our survey and see if that's consistent to what we're seeing. So as we follow the row down, we find the gaps like this, which may be those dead branches, or and then we continue down and we get to green areas like this, which are most likely very healthy plants, certainly plants that aren't under too much stress. So let's continue on. Let's go to area number two. In our old survey, we can see clearly that the center of this paddock is um, not under very much stress. The healthy looking luscious plants from, from what we can tell in the air. On our survey on the right, we're seeing the exact same thing. We wanted to investigate this area because we wanted to make sure they were the healthy plants and not just healthy grass, because as you can see in between the rows is showing up as green as well. So we wanted to check that, and this is what we found. We found vines that were growing so quickly, they were actually starting to grow along the floor very healthy looking plants, clearly not under too much stress, good looking leaves, and this was consistent down almost the whole row. We see down here we can see very healthy looking grass, more vines, and that would explain why the whole area is green looking and not just the rows. Some of these leaves were as big as my hand, these were the biggest leaves I could find. And that's consistent to what we're seeing from our aerial survey. As we continue down to area number three, we zoom in on our old survey 
and we can see a small red area with gaps in between the plants starting to form beside this gravel road. As we go into our most recent survey we see this once again. Here's the gravel road here and this is the exact same area and you can see clearly that there are plants under stress here. So we had to go and investigate this area. We took some photos and this is what we found. We found lots and lots of plants like this. As I zoom in on this, we can see lots of brown colorations, brown or black colorations on the leaves, also around the edges of the leaves. As I zoom in again on this photo, we can see it a little bit more clearly. We're finding gaps in between some of the plants, like this one here. And smaller looking plants could be under stress. As we continue down we see a few plants like this, which are obviously very small in comparison to what we're seeing in the rest of the row. And dead leaves or branches like this. And this is consistent to what we're seeing on the survey. We're seeing large gaps such as this one here and plants that are under stress such as this one. And we're seeing this consistently through, through this area. So let's continue on. Let's go to area number four which is on the other side of this paddock here. You can see this red area. We zoom into our most recent survey and we see rows with plants under stress once again. So we wanted to investigate this area as well. This is what we found. Plants which leaves are yellow in coloration. We can see a dead branch on this one. And uh, these are blotched in between healthier looking plants, but we can see branches like this one on some of the healthier looking plants. Brown colorations on some of the leaves and gaps in between some of them. And we, we find things like this, like very small plants. If you look in the background, there's another one. That's a close up of that small plant. And then as we continue down the row, we find more and more plants like this. So this is consistent to what we are seeing on the aerial survey. So as we investigate this row we find our plants that are under stress, these small ones here, and then we continue down and we find the ones that are looking a little bit healthier further down the paddock like this row here. Now this last um, Paddock area number five is a very interesting one. On our old survey, we see lots of green um, consistently throughout. But on our latest survey, we see that this paddock is just blotched with yellows and oranges and reds. So this was going to be a very interesting one for us to investigate. This is what we found in this paddock. Now at first glance, this seems to be a uh, plant that's not under too much stress. And this is consistent throughout all of these. But as we get a closer look, we see leaves like this. And black colorations on them. And also some tearing on the leaves. But because the plants at first glance look so... Um, green and, and luscious, it could indicate that on our survey we are detecting early signs of stress rather than plants that have been under stress for a long time. So this area is going to be one that we will have to monitor very closely. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be keeping a close eye on this vineyard, so make sure to check back for another video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.